yeah, the new sports are exciting. Uh, and I think that's a nice way to tap into um, a younger generation of Olympic fans. You know, I talk about 1980 being a spark for me, or even 84, the LA Summer Games being a spark for me. Um, it's important that these sparks happen, yeah. I, I believe. Uh, and that somebody in my seat 50 years from now will talk about it. Yeah, exactly. You talk about Paris 2024. Yes. You know, we've talked about um, equity and access to opportunity kind of here and there in our in our chat. How does the COC um, work to really ensure that athletes from diverse backgrounds and communities and, you know, resource levels have the opportunity to really succeed on an international stage? Yeah, we, we are working in a variety of ways to do this. Uh, but I, I'd argue that this is a, a journey, not a destination for us, that while we're, we're getting better at our, our vision, our grand vision is that our, the Canadian Olympic team needs to look like Canada. And I think it's fair mm -hmm. to say that it's looking more and more like Canada, but it does, it's not there yet. Um, and so through grants. So we have things called OLE grants where a, a number of, in many cases, retired athletes, but Olympians are, are creating programs to get more diversity into the sports system, both in the athlete and the coaching ranks. Um, we also work on programs through the grace of our Canadian Olympic Foundation, where, uh, where donors have, um, given a lot of money to the Canadian Olympic Foundation to allow us to get more diversity into Canadian sport and to put specific programs all across the country. In some cases, indigenous um, focused programs, in some cases, people of color focused programs. All of this is important. All of this has um, a, a real push at the top from the IOC through um, IOC's Solidarity Network. 